Hi, I'm Alicia Welcher, host of our FOF 160th Anniversary Sew Along, brought to you by FOF and Classic Sewing Magazine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new projector on our FOF Creative Icon 2 to achieve perfect embroidery placement on our beautiful bodice. So to get started, what I have done is I have hooped my bodice block and my stabilizer, not very carefully. So you can see my crosshair there is not in the center of my hoop. That is the beauty of this projection system. It saves a bunch of time because you do not have to hoop really carefully. I've also printed out a PDF of my embroidery. So this is my full size embroidery template, shows me where the center is. This template is included in the download of your embroidery designs. So make sure you get that printed out. The other thing that I've done here is I have pulled up my embroidery design via my sew net. And so we're all ready to go here, really. We are still in embroidery edit. You can see that at the top of my screen. Now, our projection system. If we go over here to the left-hand side of the machine, above the needle here, I have these three buttons. The top button has a cone shape on it, and that is our projector. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Okay, and then on my screen, it's going to tell me to attach my hoop. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just like this, and I'm gonna hit okay. And my projector turns on, okay? Now, what I want you to see over here on the screen, I do have my brightness all the way up and the of my projection and my background color is red because we can see it really well on the screen okay on your video now the other thing that happened here and I don't know if you noticed this or not was when the projector came on all of my work lights dimmed okay now I have some external lights on the machine so that we can still see really well but I just want you to know that that dims so that you can see your projection very well on your fabric now I am going to actually turn off one more light that I have on so that we can see it even a little better, okay? So what you're looking at now is the projection. The projection is red. My embroidery design, the projection of my embroidery design is almost a little bit purple colored back here, okay? And I can't see the whole thing. So projectors, when we put a projector on a sewing machine, we cannot put it back by your needle. So it's not, it's not shining down from right above your needle because all of the machinery back here would be totally in our way of being able to see anything. Instead, the projector has been moved up here to the front of the machine. So you can see it shining on my fingers here. It's right behind this piece of plastic right here. So what we need to do in order to be able to see our design and where it is going to fit within our hoop is we need to move the hoop so that it is underneath the projector. Because remember right now, it's centered, the needle is centered in the middle of the hoop. I need the center to be in the middle of my projection area. So on my screen, I'm gonna get rid of my projection setup. And I want you to see here, this window had popped up. This is a move hoop window, okay? And we can move it wherever we want to. But this is a move hoop window. It will do nothing to the design. So if you look at my design here, it is in the center of my embroidery field, which is indicated by this white box that is on my screen. It is not going to move. What's going to move is my hoop. I'm gonna move my hoop until my crosshair that I drew is somewhere around the middle of the projection area. Because remember, I can't move the projector, but I can move the hoop, okay? Okay, and what it does is it kind of moves your design. So you might be able to see here, you can probably see my design coming into the hoop a little bit. And then it moves the hoop. Okay, so now my crosshair is within, it's not really in the center, but it's within this projection area. Now what I have to do is I have to move the design to fit within the crosshair. Okay, because remember I did not hoop this really well. If I had paid a lot of attention to my hooping and, gotten, and gotten my crosshair right in the center of my hoop, then I wouldn't need to move the design. But in this case I do because I wasn't careful about it. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna touch my design on the screen and I'm gonna drag and drop it like this. Okay, now remember, in this case, we're embroidering a block of fabric that will become our bodice. So we really don't have to have that design placed perfectly. Ish is going to be okay. Now, if you were working on something where you wanted that placed exactly perfectly, that is what your template is for. You can see where the crosshair is in relation to the center of the design on this template, and you wanna make what you're looking at in your hoop match that template. In order to be able to make minor adjustments, so I made a major adjustment. I just moved it um, with a drag and drop motion. Down here at the bottom, we have edit design. This is going to pull up a new control wheel. The control wheel back here moves the hoop. That's what it tells us. This is our edit design control wheel. So it is going to do something to the design. Here I have my move icon highlighted, which means that the control wheel is going to move the design left, right, up and down. Okay, And you just touch the arrows, whichever way you want to move. And if you touch and hold, it will move faster and faster. Okay, so if you know you need to go a long ways, you can always touch and hold. The other thing that you could do is if you were more careless about putting your fabric into your hoop and you got it twisted a little bit, you could also rotate your design. And so if we have the rotate icon here highlighted, then that changes the color wheel into a rotation instead of a moving left, right, up and down. You can also, if you want to rotate it quite a bit or rotate it randomly, you can also put your finger on the dot that is at the top of the selection box and it will also rotate. Okay, so you can do it any old how you want to if you need to rotate it. And what happens is whatever your design is doing here on your screen, it is also doing here in your hoop. So the projection of your design is rotating and it's moving left, right, up and down as you move it. And then when you have it exactly where you want it to be, because you can see it here, then we'll go into our stitch out. So here, this is stitch out. It's a button that says go. We just touch that. We'll make sure everything is correct on our double check screen there. And then you go into your embroidery and you can see that my design is up and over where I moved it to using the projector. But now my fabric is back where it's going to stitch. So it is no longer uh, in the center of the projection field. Okay. Now at this point, you can turn the projector off and you're probably going to want to because remember, I have this extra light on here. Um, this is actually very dim at this point um, because it has turned down our work lights. So if we just hit the projector button again, you'll see that our work lights come back up and we are ready to go. And then all you do is embroider at that point. So how cool is this? It is so easy to do this and it is such a time saver because you don't have to hoop carefully. You can hoop however you want to and then all you do is move a picture of the design on top of where you want it to be. It's a fabulous thing. So you can see what a great time saver this is going to be for you too. Um, the, I love this new projector. I think it is absolutely amazing.